Um, hi, I'm Rochelle Ajikani. I'm a D1 student uh, at Texas A&M College of Dentistry and I honestly loved these therapy dogs coming to our school because it was a sense of calmness and happiness just knowing that everything is, is going to be okay and um, finals can be a stressful time but just being able to like have a face-to-face -face little combo with Aggie, the little dog <laughs> with, the, with the bandana kind of lightened up the day and um, kind of made me excited for the end of the week. My name is Luis Rucó. I am a D1 student, and uh, I really enjoyed having the dogs here. I um, kind of forgot about the stress, you know, of all the exams that we're going through, and uh, just relaxing, petting the dogs. It was it was pretty fun, and um, I just wish I could take one of them home so I could just continue doing it. <laughs> okay, my name is Tanya Ramazani, and I'm a D1, and. Um, Having the dogs here has just really helped, you know, de-stress before finals and for me it's been such a good way to, you know, come to school and see a bunch of dogs everywhere and then just play around with them and not think about school and it's been really nice. Hi, I'm Gil Perigen Clark. I'm the Assistant Dean for Finance here at the College of Dentistry and this is Harper, my therapy dog, who's four years old. She's a rescue dog. She's a mix, probably Border Collie, Jack Russell Terrier, and maybe some Schnauzer. Harper and I enjoy doing therapy work a lot. It really, you like to see how the people light up when they see the dogs. Uh, I saw a lot of the students, they seemed to really relax and it was a nice break for them. They got to just sit down and relax, not think about their dental exam that's coming up. And a lot of them told us, you know, that they, oh, well, my dog does this or that. So I think it was really nice for the students as well to give them something different, a little bit of a break. I'm TC. My full name is Tika Pell, and this is Shrek, my 12-year-old dog. His, his full name is Shrek, the overachiever. He's been one of the performing dogs at the state fair for eight years. Unfortunately, we don't have that show anymore at the state fair, but that doesn't stop him. So we're very busy with therapy dog work. I'm with Heart of Texas Therapy Dog Group, and they're a wonderful group of people. We have over 200 facilities, and they're growing every day. So we have lots of places to take our dogs. Some dogs work really well with children, and they're involved with the Reading with Rumble program for the young children. Some dogs don't do uh, children so well, so they'll go to the nursing homes and other facilities. Uh, this helps a lot of students. We Our group goes to lots and lots of um, these kind of programs when they're taking their exams for de-stressing. Um, once you get the students laughing and giggling, you know they're not stressed out as they were doing out there in the atrium. They were laughing, having a great time, they were having my dog do tricks with them. And they all thanked us, said this was so great because they weren't stressed anymore, ready to go ahead for their exams. That's good. Yeah, they're probably very hungry after all their hard work. Nah, I can feed him the whole time. He's pretty much put a big mitten on this. <laughs> Exams left. I do have <laughs> 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 a